All right, in this last tutorial, let's clean up a few things and see some more things you might want to take a look at. All right, we found some back and once more. And in this last Java tutorial here for Minecraft modding, there are a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Now, we actually already start with things inside of our main class over here because there's a couple of things that I've plainly forgotten to mention over here. There is one more modifier, access modifier, that is quite interesting, and that is the final over here. Every time you see a variable that has the final access modifier, what that means is that you can initialize it once over here, right? So once it's initialized over here, you can never assign another number to it or another value. You can see, cannot assign a value to final variable. That basically just makes it a constant. So that is one thing that is quite interesting over here. Another thing that I've never really mentioned is the null keyword over here. So something being null just means that it doesn't have any value. It doesn't mean that it's zero. It just doesn't have a value, right? So the list of names right here right now is null. And if I were to try to do names that get you know, zero, for example, over here, what would then happen is I would get a null pointer exception. That is an exception that you will probably see a hundred thousand times in your career when you're going through Java and stuff, because that's just a thing that happens all the time. But yeah, that is the idea of null, basically meaning that an object has not been created. So you have a variable, but there's no instance associated with it. And then there's another thing, and that is var keyword over here. Basically, you can write var y, and IntelliJ in Java will just figure out that this is an integer, or this is a float, right? So now I hover over this, this is a float, or that, I don't know, this is a double over here. So you can see it all just figures that stuff out. Can be quite useful sometimes. This also works with more complex data types. If you have custom classes and stuff like that, you can write var in here and then make a new make a new animal, for example, or something like that. That all works. I personally never use this keyword. That's why I completely slipped my mind. And there might be a couple of other things to look at. So the first thing is design patterns for Java. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail on them because they are very much, you know, more for people who want to do software engineering and actually want to go into like computer science and things like that. They are interesting for those people. There is one thing for the design patterns that you might want to look at, and that is the single pattern. Basically, design patterns are just a way of organizing certain classes to fit a set pattern, right? So a set, set design over here, and they have certain uses. The single pattern appears all throughout Minecraft modding. That is why this might be a really good thing to take a look at if you want to further familiarize yourself and sort of deepen your knowledge of Java. And one last thing, that is the Java conventions. So for both the design pattern singleton as well as the conventions, I will give you a link in the description below to take a look at Java conventions. Basically, basically just means what are the naming conventions, right? So the classes, class names should always start with an uppercase character. Names of methods should always have a lowercase character. Right. And then every subsequent word should be an uppercase character or things like that. Just a couple of conventions that should be made clear. I just highly recommend you take a look at those as they make your code clearer for other people to read. But with this, we are pretty much through the Java introduction here for Minecraft modding. This has hopefully prepared you somewhat for Minecraft modding. Of course, while this might have been comprehensive, it might have not been exhaustive. There are so many more topics in Java and there's so many more things that you could learn. And learning Java is a, I mean, a lifetime of things to learn, basically. Never stop learning this and never stop looking for more things to learn about Java or programming. If this is something that interests you, if maybe a spark has been lighted in you and you want to go and you know go for Minecraft modding absolutely but always think about the foundation Java is always the foundation I cannot recommend enough getting a little bit more of this basically in you watch some other tutorial series on YouTube there are so many different tutorial series on Java I cannot recommend it enough anyway that is it for me if you stuck through the entire introduction thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video so yeah